Huh? What would happen if the gang ever disbanded? First of all, that would never happen. Secondly, even if that did happen, I've got nothing to worry about. I've always got a way to make ends meet. Just like a certificate, this vision is solid proof of my capabilities. The only difference is that I'm still not certain about a vision's assessment criteria. I came up with the gang bylaws so everyone would have a set of guidelines to follow. Huh? Why are they willing to follow my rules? Because both my words and my fists are very persuasive. After the Sakoku decree was lifted, the Raiden Shogun issued many decrees aimed at supporting the development of various industries. All those certificates I received during the Sakoku decree are coming in real handy now, and the gang is finally out of the red. <laughs> Fate really does have its ways. Who would have thought after all that, I'd still have her to thank. Madam Kujo? Yes, she's a friend of mine. Huh? You're surprised that I know her? Oh, you must have misunderstood. I knew her from before I joined the Arataki gang. <laughs> In fact, it's hard to tell who's the winner whenever we spar. You can't imagine how boring it is to be a shrine maiden. Even Lady Guji from the Grand Narukami Shrine has her publishing gig to break up the monotony. I will never go back to being a shrine maiden. Never. <sighs> The boss has a lot of unpleasant memories from his past, but he still manages to stay positive. I'd say that kind of resilience is pretty rare. He treats us well, and his character has a good effect on everyone in the gang. Of course, it's never an excuse for him to run amok with no consideration for others. Just let me know if he ever causes you any trouble, and I'll be sure to make him regret ever being rude to you. Back then, I had an argument with my family, and I only wanted to run away as far as I could. So, I went to study law in Liyue, but thanks to this experience, I got to meet Yenfei. She's like a walking law encyclopedia. Huh? Me? I have a certificate, but there are a lot of restrictions for practicing law. It's not really the right field for me. Hmm, he is different from the other Doshin of the Tenryo Commission. I have yet to see him on patrol or apprehend anyone, and he occasionally comes to me to buy intelligence. In exchange, I asked him to put in a good word for me whenever I'm bailing people out of the police station. He gladly agreed. I'd say that's a pretty good deal. After all, getting the boys to keep their eyes and ears open on the streets is easy enough. Huh? You think I've got good social skills? Well... <sighs> you could say I've seen a lot of the world by now. I've learned how to read people based on their expressions and body language. Besides, nine times out of ten, it's the gang getting in trouble. I don't mind putting on a face to get us out of a sticky predicament, but I still prefer not to smile. When I first joined the Arataki gang, 
the boss told me to teach the others how to fight. So the first thing I did was beat them up, one by one. I was a little surprised that even in their bruised and swollen state, they still respectfully called me Shinobu and asked me to lead them. <laughs> At that moment, I knew they really were a big bunch of idiots. But that's fine. Even a group like this won't slow me down. I'll just take care of everything myself.